Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Wanda here from Anisart. I am currently broadcasting from my personal page. So sorry for all of you who don't want to watch this art class, but um, I tried accessing my Anise art page. However, it would not let me um, would not let me broadcast live right now at this moment, and I don't know why that happened. So I have to figure that out and realise I don't have enough time to do that and I wanted to get this party started. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the first art class um, of the today. Um, as you can see, I have got my, my easel ready. Now this is what you are going to need um, right now if you want to join me. We're, I'm going to do a little exercise with you today. We're just playing. We're not creating a masterpiece, although I believe that everything we do create is just that. Now what we will need, of course, you won't need an easel. You can work on your desk or where on the floor, wherever you are. I have got a, um, what do you call it, a sketching book. Um, I strongly advise not to use, I'm talking about materials now, right? I strongly advise you not to use um, A4 paper from that you use in the printer simply because it's too thin and when you're using art materials, you do require a thicker, more absorbent paper. So if you've got a sketchbook and if you've just hopped on, that is great. What I want you to do is just, um, I'll give you some time in a minute to go grab the things that you want to use, the materials that you want to use. Um, I'm using um, my some watercolours today. Right, very simple. Have you got watercolours at home? Have you got a pen at home? This kind of lesson you can do with watercolour, with a pencil, with a pen, right? With, I've got my paint brushes here, here, oh hang on, you can't even see them, they're going everywhere, hang on a minute, here they are, paint brushes, these kind of ones, the Taclon ones, so while I'm chatting, I'll give you a few minutes to run off and go grab what you need, so you'll need some some paper, I've got it on the easel so you can see, but you can have yours on the desk or on the kitchen table, on the wherever you're ready to go you'll need if you've got them if you've got watercolors somewhere they could be looking like this or they could be um, in a circular anything watercolory even if they are in little tubes squeeze them out and put them on a plate or on a palette you'll need some paint brushes if you've got them you can use a pen or a pencil I've already said that and um, if you're using if, you're, if you haven't got a plate or anything at home, you can use a piece of cardboard. If you're using acrylic paints, squeeze some of the colours out that you'd like to use. Start with some maybe some blues and some purples and some reds and then maybe black and white in separate sections. So use that. And also, you might want to use some oil pastels. There we are. Oil pastels, if you've got colouring in pencils, grab those. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes of music and then we're going to get started. Okay, you've got a few minutes. Ready, set, go. See you shortly.
Are we ready? Are we ready? Hello, hello everybody who's hopped on. I'm going to do an art class. So if you've got anything available you want to join me, you're most welcome to join me. Right, isolation art. Yeah, let's go. So I'm going to turn off the music so you can hear me and while we're painting I'll turn it back on. There we are. Okay, so sometimes if I look like I'm looking out in space, it's probably because I'm looking at my computer. Can you see everything? Okay, so what I thought we would do very simply today is that we would start with maybe something I just Googled. What about something like that? Can you see that? Will that stay there or will it fly away? Can you see that? We're going to create something of that nature and you can do that with a pencil. You won't get the colour, of course, but that doesn't matter. Okay. In a large page like that and that, just follow my guidance. Are you ready? Let's get this party started. Okay, so here we go. Alrighty, so judge me first and then it'll be your turn. So this is basically how I teach, particularly when I'm doing directed learning. So um, just, fo just follow my guidance. Now, I'm going to do everything freehand. Okay, I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm not going to use a, a rubber and I don't want you to do that either. I want you to get all unsy and funsy about, oh my God, I've made a mistake. Let's go really free and see what happens when we do create mistakes. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, so first of all, on my paper, I'm going to draw this aspect in because it's sort of like narrow and narrow rectangle. So watch me. Uh, I'm going to go like this. I'm getting my pencil. Notice how I'm holding the pencil like so. And it doesn't have to be a straight line either. Not now because we're not looking at perfection. We're looking at fun. There we are. Right, so that looks a little bit like um, what I want it to look like. Yeah, the lines aren't exactly straight. Then that doesn't matter. Can you see that? Okay, your turn. Go. You do this. Right, you can get your pencil and just make the lines a little bit thicker if you want to. Not too thick. Don't press too hard with the pencil either. Okay, I notice that um, very often my students like to use, you know, press really hard and make dents in the page. Don't do that. Just make it nice and light. Are we ready? And then the next step, and you can do this also in pen. Now I'm going to switch to a pen so that those of you who are using pen can see this. Okay, now I, I want you to have a dissect this image. Okay, so... We've got a space there. We've got like a like a yellow section, orangey section there. Then we've got a little bit of a white section there that belongs to the water. Can you see that? Oh my God! I hope the wind isn't going to. And then, then from there, we've got we've got the sky. So if you have a look at the whole picture, we've got if you divided that up into thirds. Right, like so. We've got a little bit less than a third. Now I'm going to go to a pen and watch how you can use all these materials together. Okay, so now I'm going to put in a line and I'm going to go slowly. The line is going to be this line that I'm going to draw in here. Watch this. I'm going to use a pen, okay? You can use a texture also. Ready, set, go. Don't be worried about, oh, it's too thick, too thin. Don't worry. Look at this. My pen's running out. I don't care. Hang on a second. It's only because I've got it up high. Right there. There we are. The first section there. Have you done that? Can you see that here, what I've done here? It's not exactly straight. Doesn't matter. Okay, next step here, of course, is then the, where the blue line ends, that horizon line. And it's a bit thinner than this one. So I'm going to go a little bit thinner. I'm using a pen now. And I'm keeping it super light, like so, like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Your turn, go. Your turn. So you should have two lines now. Happen. You done that? And then the next step, my friends, is is then the beautiful sun or the moon or whatever you want to call it, the rising something. Okay. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a pen, and I'm not too worried about. The shape of it, right like that. There we go. That's it. Boom. Done. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. 
So with me, I've got all my materials here on my desk and I've got my little water container. It's halfway full. Don't ever fill it up because if you're working with kids, you'll find that they'll spill it everywhere. I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I've just noticed that some of my brushes are missing. I'm going to use one of these brushes and I'm going to paint. Okay, I'm going to paint. Now it doesn't matter if you don't have that. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate. So first of all, you put your your brush into the water. I'm going for the yellow first. Look at this. Very quickly. And I'm going to very quickly just put a yellow layer, like so. Dip your brush into the water, especially if you're using, you're using watercolour. I'm just going like that, very lightly. Then I'm going to it into some orangey red some orange um, orangey red and I'm going to go like this and I'm just going to put that on this this particular brush I'm using is textured as you can see and it doesn't matter we're not sort of cre want to, wanting to create exactly the same thing are we okay so I'm going to leave that now for the moment okay it's not be the colour I like that doesn't matter let's get let's have a look at that if you're using oil pastels you can go for an orange orange oil pastel well, there's my phone going off like mad and I've just noticed I don't have any yellow you can also go for what I call raw sienna or that would be like um, uh, like a ochre yellow like an ochre yellow and just making sure that that's not too wet Okay, you can also use a little bit of oil pastel. Now, I'm just doing this for those who might have oil pastels at home, and that's a beautiful um, orange. Uh, if your if your uh, artwork is way way too wet, then don't um, draw don't draw on it yet. I'm noticing that as I'm using um, the oil pastel that it's dragging a little bit and uh, that's because you just might need to wait until it's dry okay i'm going to wait for that to dry in the meantime i'm going to um just i squeeze the water out of the brush using my fingers like that and i'm going to go and create i'm going to leave that there for a minute and i'm going to use this section here usually i start with the sky but i'm going to just do this for the minute and get to it okay because you can use anything you've got at home to create a really nice artwork now I'm going to use the middle a middle blue don't be worried too much about and I'm just going to outline like so see that beautiful you might have a lighter a lighter um you might have a lighter blue at home um, I'm going to do it like this for the minute now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone it I'm going to tone it and I'm going to use like this so I've placed my brush in the white first dip that get a bit more water on the brush and just go very quick it's a completely different color to that to the one that's in the picture because it's more like a phthalo blue but doesn't that doesn't matter I'm not getting worried about it I'm just doing that for now your turn go if you're using oil pastels you can use maybe the lighter a lighter blue or you can use maybe a beautiful ultramarine cobalt blue for that particular because that looks like it's a cobalt blue sort of a color okay hello everyone who's joined in if you're working with me let's keep going and say hello if you're here welcome welcome to this art class that I couldn't even go live on my um, on my business and I don't know why I've got to figure that out I'm um, just having a look to see if I've got everything to hold that thing still all right now I'm going to go and work on the sky uh, I'm letting that dry a little bit for now and and going back to it in a minute the next step is I'm going to go to the white again in my watercolor and I'm going to change I'm going to go for a nice big what they call um, uh, what do they call it it's a special kind of a like an angle brush but it has a name go back to the white for that and then go to the then go to a bit of the yellow the yellow and the white making like that 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it right down like this. And I'm just going to fluff it around like this. No, 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 no. Like this. Bit of the white, bit of the yellow. Like so. Like this. I'm going to put on my music. Where are we? Let's have some music happening while I'm doing this. If you're using oil pastels, you can go straight ahead and use the oil pastel. You can do that too. Now, if you're trying to communicate with me right now, I can't answer you because I'm too busy teaching. I'm using a bit of red in it now. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm mixing. So a little bit of that, that warm red. And now, I'm, as you can see, like this. And I'm just letting it go right around, just enjoying and getting a bit of water on it, like that. Like so. See that? There we are. Beautiful. And now I'm going to go in for the very soft blue. All right, and this might make my page go green. Always start with less is more. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that will go green. Doesn't matter. Still going to go ahead with it just a little bit. Make sure I clean the brush. Maybe cleaning the brush might work. A little bit of the blue. What colour is that one? Oh yeah, it is looking still a little bit green. Just get that in. Oh, and if you go too heavy in a section just like I did then, don't worry about it. Get some water on it. And I'll show you, as soon as that dries, I'll show you how I'm leaving this deliberately like that so that you can see what we can do with your pastel. Now I'm going to just get rid of the watercolour for now and let's go back to the oil pastels, okay? Okay, so let's go back to the box section here and I have got some orange and I'm just going to build that up. If you've got a colouring in pencil, use a bit of orange in it and just work. Notice how I'm not pressing really hard. Like some people who use oil pastels really scrub the floor like that. You don't want that intensity. You just want it nice and soft. And it's, I don't know what it looks like to you as I'm doing this, but it's just really, really awesome. Just getting a really nice, soft, soft line there, just softly, okay, like that. Then, noticing that I don't have any yellow, I'd use yellow, but I'm going go with my ochre because I am just doing it with what I've got. I'm using what I've got right now and I'm not stressing because I don't have what I think I have. Okay? Okay, so that's why I'm doing it. It's like you you go, oh my god, wanders on and I'm using now some yellow. I mean I'm just gonna grab some um, sticky here to hold that little fella up. There we are. Awesome. Okay, I can see a few dribbles going on there. I'm not worried about that either, but I'm going to go into oil pastels. If you've got colouring in pencils, then go for a lovely, um, what they call cerulean blue or a cobalt blue. Uh, these are my nice three blues I love to use. So there's like a like a purpley blue, a cobalt blue, and a, and a light watch this I'm just going to go play and just again soft rubbing soft what we call hatching soft hatching in the section here I'm not worried about the fact that I haven't left any white behind either this is just a little play go that you can get anything online like a nice little picture and and have a play have a play with that art okay does that make sense okay dokie so here we go and I'm not going to use now another, like a deeper blue. Just going in between, leaving the white bits there. Right, like so. There we are. Love it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this oil pastel, the lighter blue, and I'm just going to play with it a little bit. 
like so and look you can rub you can rub that just careful not to rub too much otherwise you'll end up rubbing the paper off you don't want to do that either and just around here like this maybe just a little bit here and there notice how I'm not forcing anything I'm just keeping it super super light you know you don't have to make your one exactly the same image as that you're just having a little bit of a go I'm just showing you the process you can have a play and perfect it once you once you um, have it I might add a little bit of yellow here maybe put a bit of yellow in the water making it look like that um, that you know that reflection sort of thing we've got any more interesting blues let's have a look I like to sometimes fiddle and see what kind of blues I do have um, because all my colors are a little bit don't forget when you're squeezing out when once that you have um, once that you have finished with one color water brush squeeze it out the, the trick guys to a great painting is making sure that your brush is always clean okay that's one of the things I always teach my students so they've got a really nice thing going on there um, you can add some more bits to it if you like getting some lines happening uh, let's have a look what else I want to put I want to put some pink into it now pink is usually made with the with the the um, the cooler pink I'm just going to change it a little bit because I want to uh, I'm just going to put some pink in here less is more less is more less is more less is always more there we are having a little play there what do you think of that okay so now I'm going to wait for um, that top part to dry because now I'm going to teach you how you can draw in that draw in that lovely um, fern thing that's hanging over but I'm going to go back now to the pen and where are we um, maybe I'll go back to a texture okay let's have a look what's dry because don't use textures or pens on wet on wet surfaces just wait for it to dry I could go back here and you know fiddle around with that one if I wanted to um, for instance I'm just giving that a bit of a chance to dry so I can do the ferns notice how I'm sort of working it because I'm working fast you can have a play with this I can add my white and how I do that is making sure when I want to really intensify some white what I'm doing is I'm rubbing 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 the brush very gently into the white section of the paint and I'm making sure that the brush can you see that it's completely white saturated and watch what I can do when that's happened I can actually go into that section that I want to make more white and add that white over the top sometimes I cheat and I might use like white acrylics for instance or oil over the top once it's dry of course white oil paint see and I'm also getting a really nice sense of um, sense of lovely looking ocean there and this is playing I love it you can also go over those lines like I always say when you're <coughs> drawing your your image on don't use a heavy pencil keep it nice and light even when you're using a pen okay so great to see you too Leticia I hope you're still on maybe you're not it's good to see you too dolls okay now the next step is that dry nearly dry I'll see if this works just check the bottom yeah it's not too bad okay so the lines of a fern are they, they're not like railway tracks and railway tracks look like this watch so I've got a line here we're going in okay uh, no. okay so the main middle line has a natural curve in it a gentle curve watching this one and we go one one can you see that see that that's a natural soft little curve on that one and then the leaves the leaves work towards each other they're sort of like bringing they, they work like this you see they they come together they work in a gentle flow okay so watch this so I'm going to go like this let's have a look okay starting there watch 
got to see what I'm doing, see? They sort of come out like that. You can do this with inks, guys. Do there too. With inks, pencil, pen. Look at that. See? Now that's really, really like, oh my godfather. It needs a little bit of umphalata, don't you think? Okay, so look, I can go for a nice darkish tone of, of um, green like this and just go over what I have done with the pencil. Look at Looking at the shape of things, looking how the artist in this particular piece has interpreted. Remember, when you're when you're exploring your own art, look at the difference that that little bit of green has made. All right, and you can always go over that with a bit of white later on. Um, but just um, oil pastels tend to be <clears throat> like an oily surface, so the, the paint sometimes doesn't stay. But look, you know, if, if you do it a little bit later, it, it, it will stay because that sort of surface dries. And now I'm going to show you how to do this using using um, paint. So here I'm going. I'm going to go with the darkest green now. And what I'm doing is I'm giving it a bit of a rub into the green like this. Rub, rub, rub. Just make getting rid of the excess water. We don't want it too watery, okay? Sometimes you can, you know, if you get too much water on your brush, I tend to go mm, mm, like that and get rid of that residue by just a little flick inside the container like this, mm -mm, rather than out there because you'll end up messing up someone else's work. And if you've got kids at home following me right now, there'll be screams going, you know, Peter just, you know, Peter just, you know, make messes on my painting. Oh my God, my masterpiece. <laughs> okay, watching this. So. Again, I'm using the brush as a pencil or as a texture. Watch, and I always tend to have my hands, by the way, above this line, like that, because I, I, I can hold the brush better. Some of the kids I paint with can paint this and they're amazing. Most kids can't, I certainly can't. Sometimes um, a child has a natural way of holding something, and if it doesn't look too awkward, let them just be in that space. If it looks a bit, if you find they're not getting the the the, the main um, usage out of the tool, the paintbrush, then you might want to go. Why don't you put your little Peter pointer here on the on the silver part and work from that space there? So I'm just going to dip it in the water again because I like to talk. My kids used to say to me, "Oh, Miss God, can you stop talking? We want to paint." Okay. So watching this, so again, starting with an angle line, nice and thin. If you put a heavy pressure on like that, you're going to get a heavy line. So make it like a little fairy line, a very soft line. Okay, here we go again. And I'm doing this at the moment. Now I'm going to get ready. So I'm watching again the shape. Where are the Ends of those leaves going so watching 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 I'm going to go like this hardly touching the paper to get the most out of this done with just the brush this is done with oil pastel and now guys now 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 all right now i'm going to go back to let's have a look i'm looking for where i've left the my brushes when you have finished using your brushes you can put them you might need them again make sure they don't roll off though okay so i've got the three of them here and the last the last part guys is now I'm going to add some texture using this. So watch this careful. Now I'm going to create some interesting lines here 
by giving it a few little rub dub dub through men in the tubs like this funny on me I'll use a pencil I use a pencil now watch this so you can do the same with a nice 2b pencil all right a 2b pencil is a really good very practical drawing pencil so see how I've just sort of drawn those lines in here and then because I'm going to put some on the horizon line a little bit I can maybe put in some pencil lines here into my my um, what do you call them the palm leaves even here overlay like so and just here can probably straighten that up if I can there 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 and I might even put a little shadow just a little shadow there we are on the on the moon now watch this I know it's not, wait till it's dry, okay, I'm doing this fast because I want you to have a play with it yourself. Okay, so you've got all your bits down there, your bits to see if you want the colours, use that. Because later on, guys, what you can do is you can cut it out, which I'm doing now. Now, if you're a kid watching, you might want to get mum to help you cut because I know that sometimes don't ever cut on the line where your pencil line is always anything from a centimeter to a half a centimeter look at that okay now watch again watch this and we can mount it I'm using sticky tape voila there we go so with a bit of pencil, bit of pen, bit of mucking around, a little bit of oil pastel, a little bit of watercolour, and then what do you think? Is that beautiful or not? Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to do another art lesson tomorrow and um, <clears throat> have a look and see what you've got. Have a look and see if you've got, um, I'm going to make it a watercolour, watercolour, all sorts of things seascape I mean landscape landscape this is a seascape so finish it off have another go see what you can download from the internet as something you really like and have a little play so drawing it first getting the outlines done in pen and anything you've got you don't need to have an artillery of of fabulous bits just use what you've got I, I, I just picked out what I got but look I just grabbed everything because if I'm going to show you how to have fun and, and with what you've got, and if you don't have anything, duck in the Woolworths and see what they've got, and and, and have a have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something. Okay, so there it is, and you can perfect that. Find another seascape, build something else up. All the things I taught you right now can be replicated in so many different ways, using different colours, using different materials. I hope that's been helpful, guys. Lots of love to you all. I will be back on tomorrow. Hopefully I will figure it out because if you do want to follow me, I will be moving to YouTube. In the meantime, I am going to see if I, I can get onto my Anise Art page and I will put this on my Anise Art page for those who wish to do this um, lesson in another, in another time. In, on another time when it suits you, when, when you're free to paint. All the best to you. Can you hear the music in the background? That is because nice soft music while you're painting, maybe lighting a candle um, in the distance. Okay, we don't want everything burning while you're painting. Um, having maybe some essential oils to create the mood, to create the mood in your studio, um, to create the mood in the space where you're working even oh, I've done the best artworks on the kitchen table my friends before I even had a studio so there we are enjoy enjoy um, the process and by all means can you please if you are doing this lesson, um, I would love to see your artworks can you pop them up into the into the um, into the into the underneath this post 
your completion, your half completion. I love to see what you're doing. And um, don't be afraid to put up your artwork, guys, because, you know, anything that you do is beautiful. Remember that. In the meantime, lots of love to you all. Peace and love during these days. And I look forward to tomorrow. Um, I will let you know on my pages when I'll be around. I think it'll be 11.30 also. I'll keep it 11.30. That way everyone knows where to find me. Okay. Moving into the beach. The yellow. The beginning of the storm. Lots of love to you all. Bye for now.